Daniel, it'll be time soon. I know, sir. It's been great. But all good things must come to an end. Shall I tell the other engines? I I'll tell them, sir. It's my responsibility. Okay, then. I'll leave it with you. And thanks for your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, sir. That afternoon, Daniel finished shunting a passenger train for his good friend Edwin, the Black Five. He soon heard him approach and watched him back onto his train. When he stopped, Daniel rolled up to him. Hello Dan, you look beaten, what's up? Uh, well, the thing is... <sighs> Don't worry, it's nothing. Look, I'm sorry, I can't talk, the Duchess is bringing in a special train and I, I need to clear platform 4. Daniel rushed away quickly trying not to look back. Something's gone into his smoke box. No, wait, his radiator or something. Soon, the guard's whistle blew and Edwin was off with his train. Daniel watched him go. I'll tell him another time. Edwin was worried for his friend. Daniel had never acted so strange. He figured something must be wrong. Later, he told the other engines about what happened. Daniel's never behaved like this. Yeah, he's normally really chirpy. How did you get to this line anyway? Only Timothy and Stephen know. They were here before me. Uh, when will the Duchess leave? She talks too much. Oi, don't be so mean. Richard? What? You like her, don't you? Don't be ridiculous. We can keep a secret, you know. Oh, whatever. I'm off. Our Ricky's in love. Anyway, I'll speak to Dan tomorrow. Fair enough. Unfortunately, Edwin never found time. And over the next few days, the other engines noticed that Daniel's mood didn't improve. He still looked glum no one could figure out why. A few nights later, the engines talked about it. Again. He's still really miserable. I know. I can't figure out what's up with him. Maybe he's ill? I wish he'd spit it out. Excuse me for my ignorance, but what's this all about? Didn't anyone tell you? Our lad Dan has been acting strange all week. Oh yes, poor thing. Have none of you got a big enough tender to just go and ask him yourself? Technically, me and John don't have tenders. Why don't you ask him, Ricky? Oh, he did. Yesterday. And what did he say? Well... You're what? I didn't want to say it, but it's true. But, but, but why? You're, you're not being sold, are you? No, I, I belong to British Rail. I've been on loan here for the past eight months, but it expires on the 10th of January. But, but that's in, in, in two days! Have you told any of the others? <sighs> Just the Duchess. So, he's leaving. It all makes sense now. Hey Richard, why didn't you grab some tell us? John! 
No, Richard. I'll go talk to him. No, John, you've done enough already. John! Bollocks. The next day, Edwin was pulling the regular stopping service to Manchester. When he arrived, he looked around for Daniel, but he was nowhere to be seen. He couldn't have left already, could he? Not without saying goodbye. Just then, Edwin heard a voice from behind. It was a well-known high-pitched voice. Dan? What's wrong, Edwin? Richard told us you were leaving. I just wanted to say goodbye. I never knew you were alone, Dungeon. Why didn't you say something? Well, I'm sorry, mate. I couldn't bring myself to tell you. It's just that I loved it here so much, and... I didn't want you to think I was going back. It's not the same on BR. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. You helped save my life. And the wood headline. I'm the one who's lucky, mate. Just then, a whistle could be heard, followed by many others. Daniel and Anvil looked at the main line and then they saw all the other engines rushing towards the station. When they stopped, Daniel spoke up. You're all here to say goodbye. Aye. We're gonna miss you, mate. You're a good one. Agreed. You've been a great asset to the railway, Daniel. Ah, there's my ride. Goodbye and thank you, everybody. Let Tim and Stephen know I said goodbye too. You got it, Dan. Thanks for everything. Goodbye, everyone. I hope I see you again soon.
in life, there's always a hello. Adventures to remember, disagreements and goodbyes. But a goodbye can also be a hello. An ending can be a new beginning. And as one chapter closes, another opens.